which may change our lives, the Lord, which may change our attitudes, of Father. Father God, we thank you that you have been speaking to us about the Christian worship in the previous weeks. And as we are continuing the same topic this morning also, Father, we pray that speak to us, the God, Help, help us to be changed and help us to be transformed and help us to worship you according to the condition and the word of God which is written in the Bible of Father. We are committing ourselves to the mighty hand of God. We thank you for hearing a prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we have been uh, doing a series of sermon uh, for the uh, last two weeks, uh, maybe a maybe few weeks, maybe uh, two or three weeks. And uh, the theme was the Christian worship. The Christian worship. And last Sunday, uh, we have been uh, thinking about the act of worship uh, throughout the human history and its spiritual relevance uh, today. Okay, so that is the topic that we have been, that is the subtitle that we have been uh, discussing and I was preaching that the act of worship throughout the human history and I mean, and its spiritual relevance uh, today. And today also we are uh, continuing the same topic and even last Sunday we learned many things uh, about the concept of worship uh, from the story of Adam and uh, Eve and also from Abraham and Isaac. Amen. And uh, I told you that the first mention of the word uh, worship is in, in, in Bible is Genesis chapter 22 verse 5 which is uh, uh, related to the event that Abraham was sacrificing his son Isaac. Amen. And uh, uh, we learned already that the concept of worship has begun after creating man and placing them in the garden of Eden. And we also learned that we also learned and also we proved something like the obedience to God is worship. The obedience to God is worship and intimate communion and constant relationship with God is worship and the perfect love and unity with God and with our fellow believer is necessary in our worship and also when we obey God and worship God, he will care for us. Amen. So these are the things that we have been discussing in the previous, I mean, Sundays. And in the Bible, we can see the act of worship is progressing time to time. The act of worship is progressing time to time. That means, you know, uh, you can see that the worship of in, worship in the time of Adam and Eve, I mean, it was mainly based on the obedience of those people and also the communion and intimacy and love towards God and also love towards their partner. I mean, and also the act of worship in the matter of Abraham when he was sacrificing his son Isaac to the Lord, it was mainly, I mean, focused on obedience and faith of God. So I was just telling, when we do something or when we worship something, and how can we relate the things which is, uh, which is written in the Bible uh, with our personal life and how we are worshiping God? You know, when we study about this, and uh, we have to think about when Abraham was uh, sacrificed sacrificing his I, I mean, son Isaac, and also when Adam and Eve, they were worshipping God, it was mainly based on obedience to God, and their faith towards God, and love towards God, communion towards God, and that close and intimate relationship with God, and also they were always seeking the face of God, the uh, the, the, the favor of God. And they were always uh, I mean, seeking the favor of God. That's what we understand from the word of God. And today I would like to uh, uh, talk about the model of worship. The model of worship from Cain and Abel's life. And also the singing worship I mean, of Moses and Miriam. Okay, and let us uh, uh, see uh, how the concept of worship has been progressing uh, time to time. So the thing that I would like to share with you this morning is, um, I mean, mainly about something about the lessons from the offering of Cain and Abel. We studied about Adam and Eve, and we studied about Abraham, and we studied that how the, the concept of worship was progressing in different times. Amen. So during the time of, I mean, Abel and Cain, what was happening and how they were worshipping God. 
we are going to see that portion today and after that if time permits we'll be uh, i mean thinking about I mean how moses and miriam and the people of israel they were singing with the musical instruments and dancing and praising god i mean in uh, 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 book of exodus chapter 15 uh, verses 1 uh, following okay and the thing that we are going to study this morning is uh, the lessons from the offerings of cain and abel from genesis chapter 4 Open your Bible. Open your Bible and see that, I mean, uh, a chapter, maybe Genesis chapter 4. The reason that I'm taking this portion is, you know, there are many lessons that we are going to study from the portion of uh, Genesis chapter 4. That which will, I mean, help us and which will relate us and our worship uh, towards God. Okay. So that is the reason that I'm taking that portion. And we know that, I mean, already we, uh, uh, I mean, thought about all those things and we, some of you have preached about that and some of you have uh, read many times that chapter 4 but even then we are going to look into that portion particularly and we are going to see what the Lord has to speak to every one of us amen so I personally believe that the Lord has been speaking to me from that chapter and today when I mean, God is going to speak to every one of us I mean particularly from that I mean chapter and we are going to listen to that amen verse and when we study about the uh, incident which happened with uh, Cain and Abel. That means when they were offering uh, their uh, offering or sacrifice, I mean, in the presence of God, you know, there are many people and there are many arguments and different opinions about uh, I mean, this incident and some people are saying that we cannot consider this as a worship because it, it, it was just an offering. Okay? So some people are saying, no, no, we cannot consider this worship or this offering or this sacrifice of Cain and Abel as a worship. Okay? They are saying that it was a vibe. Okay? But some says it was it was a method of worship in those days. In the in the time of Cain and Abel, when this was the I mean method of model of the worship that they were I mean uh, I mean observing in the presence of God but if we if we believe that an offering or a sacrifice is a worship then we can say that Cain and Abel were worshiping God from whatever they had listen very carefully when we think about if we are offering something to the Lord and if we are sacrificing our life in the presence of God, if we are sacrificing something which we have to the Lord, if that is a worship, we can truly believe that Cain and Abel, they were worshipping God. They were worshipping God. Amen? And we know that Cain was a farmer and Abel was a shepherd. Okay? Cain was a farmer and Abel was a shepherd. And Cain brought the fruit of the ground. Abel brought the best portion of the firstborn lambs from his flock. This is what we read in chapter 4. Then, so Abel also brought something and Cain also brought something. There are something different, difference between the offerings of Cain and offerings of Abel. When God was watching to those people and how they are offering their offerings and God was watching how is their heart in the presence of God and all those things are that, that we are going to listen. Okay, But the thing is, the question is, why did God reject Cain's offering? Okay, different. Next one. Yeah. Why did God reject huh? Cain's offering and why did God accept the offering of Abel? Listen, very carefully, you know that uh, the story of that uh, I mean, chapter. Okay? So, why God didn't accept the offering of Cain? And why did God accept the offering of Abel? Okay? That means the acceptance and rejection of offering of two people. Okay? The acceptance and rejection of those people. Okay? That means, you know, there are different views about I mean, why it was, I mean, once, I mean, uh, uh, offering was not accepted and why Abel's was accepted. I mean, there are many, I mean, views about the same thing. 
There are many people, there are many scholars that they are saying that okay, this is the reason, this is the reason, this is the reason that one is accepted and one is rejected. Okay, so we will see that one. It is like, you know, uh, the, the first, first thing is the poor quality of the worship. Okay, the poor quality of the worship is, um, you know, uh, you can say that, um, uh, uh, I'll be uh, just before the, the, the previous one, the previous one. Yeah, this is the one. You know, different views are there about um, when why it was accepted and why it was rejected. First of all, I mean, you can see the God's sovereign choice. That means some of the people they are saying that it was the God's sovereign choice that it's up to God that whether uh, He want to accept one's offering or the others to to reject the other offering. Okay, so there are people saying that okay, it was because of the of the I mean uh, uh, God's sovereign choice that it was up to God that God decided something. We cannot ask a question. Okay, so there are some people saying that okay, it is up to God. God can choose one and God can reject one and God can uh, accept one's offering and God can uh, reject one's uh, the, the other person's offering. It's up to God. Okay, so and again, the second thing is. It was non-blood sacrifice. That means Cain offered without shedding blood. Okay, So some of the people, are, they are saying that Cain was offering the offering without bloodshed. Okay? But Abel was offering with blood. Okay, That means he was cutting the flocks, right? The, he was cutting the animals. So someone said, "Oh, it was the reason that God did not accept the I mean, offering and the sacrifice of Cain, but he accepted Abel's, I mean, sacrifice. And third one is the poor quality. What do you mean by poor quality? Poor quality means, you know, the things, that, the items that they brought to the presence of God was maybe especially Cain. Whatever he brought in the presence of God, it was, uh, it was a poor quality thing. That means Abel brought the best thing, but Cain brought the common items. Okay, so that we know that story. Okay. Abel was bringing the best thing, the best thing, and also, uh, I mean, uh, 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 Cain was bringing a common item. And also, the, third, the next one is the evil attitude. That means the attitude of Cain was wrong. The attitude of Cain was wrong. Okay, so all these things are there that we study about when we study about, study about the sacrifice of Cain and Abel. Okay, Kainum Habelum or Pichadai in the Yagam. I mean, Oralade, they were Sigrichu, Oralade, they were Sigrichilla. In the Ladane, ah, Utri Karingal Alagal Parino de Pache, Mukachindika and Karinetum. I mean, serious eye to La, under the Karingal or Picanita, Yantal Piripigana. Okay, actually, the real reason is not written there. Okay, the real reason is not written there, but we can assume few things that. Why God was rejecting, I mean, the, the, the offering and the sacrifice of, I mean, uh, Cain and why God accepted the worship of Abel. I mean, so the reasons are there. I'll be next one. Yeah. So the reasons of acceptance and rejection. Okay. You know why I'm telling all these points? Because we need to understand when we are worshiping God. Okay, I'm not talking about only about the about the German church worship on Sunday or the, the Friday worship or Wednesday worship. Okay, I'm not talking about that worship, but I would like to tell you one thing that you know every moment of our life that we are worshiping God. We are worshiping God every moment of our lives. I mean, our whole life is surrendered for the worship in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's the reason I'm telling you that we have to, I mean, very carefully think about all these things. And it is very important because a believer's life is surrendered for the worship only. You know, we are here to worship the Lord. Always we are saying and singing that we are the clay and he is the potter. Okay. And today also we sang that song. He is the potter and we are the clay and we do not know what to do. But God will reveal us. Amen. And that song was saying that okay, until the second coming of Jesus Christ, until the second coming of Jesus Christ, the oh Lord, I need your grace. Amen. Your grace. Hallelujah. Kartave, Kartav and the Varuvari any can do Venam. Any can the Kartav in the Akruba Venam. Hallelujah. So before we worship God, we need to understand many things. Man, it's not simply worshiping God. It's not simply singing some songs and worshiping God. That's not a worship. But before worshipping God, even when you are alone, you can worship God. 
When you are alone, you can worship God. Okay? You don't want to have a congregation for worshiping God. But when you are alone, when you are traveling, you can worship in God. Okay? So that's the reason I told you, every moment of our lives should be consecrated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Every doings and every talk, every everything must be surrendered in the presence of God before we worship in the presence of God. Okay, that's what we are seeing. Why? The reasons of acceptance and rejection. The first thing, the first thing, the real thing that we are going to discuss about. Man, the first thing that is the poor quality of Cain's offering. Let's read Genesis chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. <clears throat> Okay, on Namath and Riamo, eh? Kain de Aratana Devon Sigari Kai and the Nata Karana Kadina there, Avende Arath and Avan Kunduana was tukal items and Dairno. Guna Nilevarum, Ilata Dairn, the Coronia Dairn, the quality Corolla Dairn. Okay. So you may be thinking that, okay, if I am bringing maybe five dollars to offer in the offering bag, okay, and the other person is bringing a uh, hundred dollars to offer in the offering bag, which one God will accept? <laughs> we, we are talking about quality of the offering or quality of the sacrifice or worship. Okay, what do you think? Depends on the very good, very good. See, you know, some other people are thinking that okay, okay, if I am bringing hundred dollars and putting in the offering back, God will be pleasing that worship. And if somebody is uh, bringing maybe five dollar or one dollar, uh, what is that? I am putting more than that person. And we are thinking that okay, we are accept or we are offering a good amount in the presence of God and worship. But putting offering is not at all a worship. It's it's not only the worship, but that also is a worship. At the same time, here the thing is different. You know, we have to think about that portion that Abel brought the best of what he had. Abel brought the best of what he had. And it is written, Abel brought the best portion of the firstborn lambs from his flock. Whereas, it is simply written, Cain brought the fruits of the ground. Okay? There is no difference that what the items they brought, but the thing is, I mean, Cain did not make an effort to bring his best to the Lord. That is the main problem. Okay? So Abel was putting his full effort to, 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 to make a worship, to make a worship, but at the same time, Cain was not putting his full effort in bringing something or think he was not caring about that and he was not thinking about that and he was thinking okay whatever I bring to the presence of God and God will accept that okay so you know he was so careless about the worship careless about worship you know this is the important point that I would like to share with you this morning you know we should not be careless about the worship well, many times we are careless about worship and we are thinking, okay, if I worship in that way also God will accept and this way also God will accept. The way that God will accept. But the thing is, I mean, what, what are the, I mean, the effort that you are giving, you are submitting yourself in the presence of God. How much you are doing that and how much you are, I mean, I mean giving importance for the worship. And also how much best things that you are bringing in the presence of God. I mean, God has given you the strength, right? God has given the strength and God has given you the money and God has given all the material blessings to you and how much you are spending that for the glory of God. Hallelujah. In worship, how much you are using that and how much you are getting into the worship when you are worshiping God. Hallelujah. God has given the education and God has given the strength and God has given the wealth and God has given everything in your family. But how much you are worshiping God with that. You know, when uh, I was attending in the camp meeting of a church of God last week, um, uh, sorry, last month, you know, uh, uh, Bishop O'Neill, he was asking asking me to, um, uh, uh, to for a, for a, for a short time of uh, uh, leading them in uh, leading them into worship in giving leading them in worship sorry leading them in worship in giving what do you, what do you mean by that 
Okay, he was saying, you know, I, I, I asked him, okay, what should I do? And he said, you, you preach something about I men giving, and that should lead the people to worship. So I, I, I got that point. Like you know, whenever we are giving something, whatever it may be, money or our strength or our education or our, I mean, our talents or something, when we are giving and we are spending that in the presence of God, that is a worship. Hallelujah. And how much we are giving preference and how much we are giving importance for worshipping God. Then all other activities and all other things that we are doing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. So this is the time that we can just think about that. How much I am putting my effort in the presence of God for worshipping God. How much I am giving preference for the spiritual things rather than all other things. You know, we have time to do everything. But we don't have time to worship God. We don't have time to attend for a prayer meeting. We don't have time to come to the church in time. Because we have many other activities to do. But the question today is, are we giving more preference and more importance for any other, any other things than worshipping God? Amen? So that is the first point that uh, I mean, Cain's um, uh, offering was uh, not accepted in the presence of God. And secondly, secondly, the, 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 uh, uh, what is that? The evil attitude, the evil attitude, the wrong intention. We are coming to that point. Okay, so Cain offered with an evil attitude, chapter 4, verse 5. <clears throat> okay, you know, it is very clearly written that when they were offering in the presence of God, Abel and uh, Lord had regard for Abel and for his offering, but for Cain and his offering, I mean, he had no regard. That means, you know, when Cain was coming to the presence of God. God already knew the heart of that person. And God was looking into his heart and saying that you are coming here. Even though you are offering. Even though you are worshipping. Even though you are sacrificing something. It is out of a wrong intention. Out of wrong attitude and evil attitude. That's what we understand from that verse. I mean chapter I mean 4 verse 5. That means he was having the, the, the mind of angry and jealous and grudge to his brother. No? He was coming to the presence of God, worshipping God, offering with a wrong intention. But Abel was not at all bothered about all those things. He was bringing whatever he had and he offered in the presence of God. Let me tell you one thing this morning very clearly. That when we come to the presence of God, our heart must be clear. Our heart must be pure. Without that, if you are worshipping God, there is no meaning at all. If your heart is pure, if your heart is clear in the presence of God, if your heart is I mean, sincere in the presence of God, after that if you are worshipping, I mean, God will accept that worship. Hallelujah. Otherwise, we will see that when Cain's offering was rejected by God. And you now the, the thing that we read in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4. Let's read that verse also. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 4. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. See? Yeah, yeah. We read there. By faith, eh? Abel. Uh, offered to God by faith. That means he was not knowing anything. How to do that? Okay? How to prepare that? How to do that? What to do that? Okay? He was not knowing anything, but he had a faith in God. This is worship, actually. If you and me have a faith in God, if you believe in God, and if I believe in the Creator God, and I don't look for a pattern of worship. I don't look for a style of worship. But I will worship God from my spirit by believing in God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the real worship. And when he was offering that offering or sacrifice in the presence of God. It is very clearly written in the New Testament about Abel. That he was offering to God a more excellent sacrifice than Again. What a wonderful word it is. He 
was offering the offering to God a more excellent okay, sacrifice than Cain. What is in Malayalam there? Kaililum. I'm the very part of Okay, what was that word? Uh, um, yeah. Oh, Hebrews, yeah. Uh, in Malayalam, I don't know what you're doing. Angle, uh, Ebrai like a pine on the denale. Ebrai like a pine on the denale. Eleven. Kayindi, little. Uttamama, Yagamara Pichu. Habela Pichu, Habela Pichu. In the Garden Riamo. I mean, he was, I mean, the other, I'm the Kriatil and Nanuma. I rather could do another Kriatil and Nana. I mean, they use a lot of Picana de Ayad. Allah, when Pormegana Unilmala, I mean, Bijarich and another, I mean, Bijarich and the youth officials which wonder, I mean, Jenna Garath and Narati. Hallelujah. And we read there that by faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he was certified by God as a righteous person. You know, when you and me are counted and certified as a righteous person, we have to know that we are worshipping God from a heart and in faith. Okay, so when we offer our offering to the Lord, when we offer our sacrifices and worship in the presence of God, it should be excellent. It should be excellent than all the evil people. I mean, it should not be excellent than the other people, those who are sitting here. It should be excellent than the evil people outside. Men, if they are doing and we are doing the same thing, there is no meaning at all. But if you, the, 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 the people, those who are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, when you are offering, you are offering or sacrifice, when it should be excellent. And it says that by which he was certified by God as righteous and by which though he is dead, he still speaks. My rich Hallelujah. Praise God. So still the blood of Abel is speaking to everyone. Even today. Even though he has died. Okay. The, the blood of Abel is speaking to everyone. So that is the, the second reason. And third reason is. I mean, our life before and after uh, worship is important in the presence of God. Okay. So our life before and after worship is important. Okay. Uh, uh, read that verse. Maybe 8. Chapter 4 verse 8. <clears throat> Okay, you know, sometimes the people are thinking, even the believers are thinking, okay, so I'm going for the worship, and uh, who knows me, and you know, whatever I thought, or whatever I did, who, the, the, the pastor, or the, the other believers, brothers or sisters, they do not know anything about me, I'm just, I mean, going there and sitting there, and after worship, I'm going back to my home. Nobody knows about me anything. And I'm okay. I'm okay. And I'm worshipping God. I'm singing song. And I'm uh, uh, jumping or dancing or worshipping God. Offering, putting the offering. And uh, I mean, attending in the holy community. Everything that we are doing. Okay. But one thing you have to remember. That there is a God who knows you. There is a God who knows you. Even before coming to the worship. And also after going back from the church. This is very important to understand when be right with god be right with god and have this the right standing with god right relationship with god before coming to the worship and after going from the worship when here you will understand from genesis chapter 4 verse 8 and god was pleased in abel and his offering but god did not please in cain and his offering that is very important point. You know, God, it is written that God was pleased in Abel first. Then his offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So God, first of all, pleased in the worship of Abel. Then his offering. Then his offering. Okay. Before coming to the church, just remember, as you are walking into the church, as you are driving your car, just think about how much I'm holy in the presence of God. How much I'm sincere in the presence of God. Before coming for the worship service. Before coming for the worship service. Hallelujah. 
cleanse yourselves with the blood of Jesus. Asking God, O oh Lord, forgive me, O oh God. There are many shortcomings. There are many weak points in my life, O oh Lord. Forgive me, O oh Father. It's not just coming inside the church and worshipping God. That doesn't mean that God is pleasing in your worship. Hallelujah. God is looking into the heart of a person. And we read there that God, first of all, pleased in Abel, then his offering. And we read, God, first of all, did not pleased in Cain and his offering. That means keeping, he was keeping, Cain was keeping enmity with Abel. We know that and he killed him. You got that point? He killed him. Okay. Now, even though he was going after the worship, after offering something to the Lord, what happened to him? What happened to him? He was having the angry towards his own brother and he killed his brother. Hallelujah. Let's go. Think about how much grudge that he was having in his mind. How much angry that he was having in his mind. And even though he was worshipping God. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, don't come and worship God with all those, I mean, all those weak points and all those, I mean, grudge and, uh, you know, you know, if, 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 if you are, I mean, having a, a, some kind of grudge to the, the other people or the pastor or, or someone, I mean, the brothers and sisters, I mean, get right with God and get right with that person before you worship God. That's the reason it is written in Matthew chapter 5 verses 23 and 24. Read that person. Read that person. Yeah. Matthew chapter 5 verses 24 and 20. Ninda wajib bad, ya agak biru tin mel kondu berim bol. Sahoh dengan ninno, ninda nere, endengil mundan na awal dah baca orang mau bandal. Ninda wajib bad, awal dah mati oce ta. Orang amat cend sahoh dengan noda. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord was very clearly speaking to me that when I was praying and preparing this message yesterday, you know, the Lord has been talking to me like, you know, you have to say that. You have to read that verse. Even, you know, read in English that verse. Hallelujah. Praise God. But reconciliation is the important thing before you worship God. You know, there are many people without reconciliation. Nerapillade. I mean, they were told of Manshir or Nerapillade. Vrdegar Naradikia. Vrdegar the Kayadikia. Vurum waste title Arathanea. But the Bible very clearly says that without, without, I mean, worship without unity and worship without reconciliation is not acceptable in the sight of God. Hallelujah. 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 I personally believe that the Lord is speaking to every one of us this morning. I know there is a youth meeting today, but the Lord has to speak to every person that before coming for the worship service, reconcile with other people. Have that unity with other people. Have united with God. Hallelujah. If you feel that when someone else is having something with you, when keep away your worship, keep away your offering there and reconcile with that person and come to the Lord. This is the real worship. The fourth thing, the fourth thing. The fourth thing, that is, Cain refused the opportunity to be corrected. Cain refused the opportunity to be corrected. That is, that we are reading in chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. 4, verses 6 and 7. So the third point was, the third point was, uh, what is it? Our life before and after worship is important. Is it important? Before our worship and after our worship also is. Our life is important. 
okay don't say that okay i went to the church and i worship god and i i was playing the guitar or i mean uh, organ or i was i mean i'm mean, playing the drum and i was jumping there and bassing and uh, i was i'm mean, putting my offering and i i worship there in the church and think about after the worship what are you are doing after the worship after going out of the church what are you are doing that is important men our life before the worship and after the worship is important in the presence of god the fourth point is cain refused the opportunity to be corrected by god you know in verse 6 we read the lord said to cain after their worship okay after the offering god is telling them that telling him that why are you angry cain and why has your i mean contents fallen and if you do well will you not i mean uh, uh, what is it contents be lifted up and if you do not do well sin is crouching at the door and its desire is for you but you must master it men paavam vaadilkal kidakkunu adinte aagraham ninnilekku aagunu neeyo adine keeladakkanam idu aaru parnu god said to cain that you have to do that you have to you have to overcome that men you have to master it because the sin and it is crouching at the door and it it's desire is for you okay and you have to master it you have to overcome it oh, that was a chance for cain right that was a chance okay and he did not think about that and god was speaking to him and saying that okay you must be you must be born again or you must be, I mean, correct yourself this is the opportunity for you this is the right time this is the right place that you are sitting hallelujah and god is speaking to to cain that when I mean, you have to be corrected now this is the last chance hallelujah chapter 4 verse 7 god said Cain this is the right this is the right place that you are getting a chance to be corrected in the presence of God in the eighth verse we read Cain told Abel his brother and it came about when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel and his brother and killed him next moment you know god was giving an opportunity god was giving a chance to cain and asking him men get ready with your brother men and get ready with god get right with god hallelujah men this is a chance for you this is a chance for you if you're missing this chance i don't know you're going to get another chance but god said cain you can do now it you can do it now men get right with your brother men don't think about all those things i mean don't think that okay i mean god did not accept your offering or your sacrifice but the same thing uh, you know the first thing that he he wanted to do is men get right with god and asking pad in the presence of god whatever he thought and whatever he did men but he did not do that okay and the other thing that we read in uh, in uh, uh, the other portions that men the fifth the fifth point is do not worship do not worship god for self credit hmm? hmm? do not worship god for self credit okay are we worshiping god for self credit no hmm? think about think about think about okay i am thinking about myself okay yan enne kurichu ne chindikya endo endo en malayalathi parana soya self credit soya prasamsa alle nammude soya prasamsakku vendi aanu nammal aaradhikkunnengile what is the use of it alle so if you are worshiping god if you are singing a song if you are preaching something if you are sharing exhortation something from the psalms or something or if you are sharing a testimony if you are praying in the church it should not be for your self credit there are many people doing that for themselves not for god not for the glory of god even you know when we are worshiping god itself sometimes you know nammal aaradhikkumba polum endha cheyyune aa aal aaradhichirekkal nannayittu aanu njan aaradhikkunna nammal nokkana alle alleke aa aal paadidinekkal nannayittu aanu njan aa aara nannayittu paadiyum nokkana alle ivada aalkar varune ആരെ നന്നായിട്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച് നോക്കാനല്ല നമ്മളിവിടെ വരുന്നേ ആണോ ആരോടൊക്കെ ആരാണ് ഉറക്കെ അല്ലേലി പറഞ്ഞെന്ന് അറിയാനാണോ നമ്മളിവിടെ വരുന്നേ അല്ല 
നമ്മൾ എന്തിനാ വന്നത് ടു വർഷിപ്പ് ഗാഡ് ഇൻ ട്രൂത്ത് ആൻഡ് സ്പിരിറ്റ് thinking about the blessings of god thinking about the mercy of god the faithfulness of god and we are worshiping god Hallelujah. don't do anything don't worship god for your self credit men the cain's problem main problem was he was not i mean he was not when i mean the, the, you know his the main problem was not god didn't accept his offering rather god accepted abel's offering this is the problem you know hmm? what is the problem of cain Hmm? it was known that god didn't accept his offering or his worship but he was thinking about okay hey, why god accepted the offering of abel he is my brother only no avan ende sahodaran alle avante aaradhane avan seekarichu avante aaradhane velli pokki paranju ende aaradhane taathi ketti palappalum namukku undana prashna okay nammada aaradhane anengilum nammada nammada cheyina endaile spiritual things whatever it may be i mean avadella namukku anubhavichu ariyan kaiyanda kartave angada ishtathinayitte yan enne samarpikkunnu parayan kaiyanam hallelujah we know that i mean that's why he got angry and killed his brother i mean and that is what we read there so don't worship god to show i mean that you are better than the other people hallelujah so let us uh, i mean some it also with the mighty hand of god i was i've been i've been talking about the worship what is worship and what how to worship and how must be our heart in the presence of god when we do something for the lord hallelujah let us come to that point i mean i i, I was supposed to when preach from exodus chapter 15 also uh, today and uh, which says that okay moses and miriam they were singing and uh, using instruments and they were singing and dancing god praising god's name for the redemption for everything when i was supposed to say about that and i had a slide also for that i mean i'll be preaching that in, in the the other time but let us all submit ourselves in the mighty hand of god as we have the youth meeting today well let us submit ourselves in the mighty hand of god and let's pray for a moment close your eyes close your eyes hallelujah hallelujah we have to remember many things alvin we have to remember many things hallelujah we have to remember about the mercies of god at the same time when god is talking to us hallelujah if you believe that the lord has been talking to me this morning surrender your life in the presence of god hallelujah hallelujah let us put our full effort in worship and in spiritual things hallelujah think about how much importance are we giving in worshiping god how much best how much excellence that we are showing in the presence of god when we worship god are we worship god with an evil attitude worshiping god with an evil attitude is not not acceptable in the sight of god cain was accept cain was offering his offering and sacrifice with an evil attitude wrong intention when that's the reason that he got angry with the, his brother that's the reason that he i mean killed his own brother men are we worshiping god with an evil attitude our life before and after worship is very much important don't think that okay i am worshiping god but god is asking how is your life how holy that you are living how is your life before worship and after worship and also are we in good terms with our fellow believers this is very important we must be in good terms with our fellow believers hallelujah before worship and do not refuse the opportunities to be corrected god has given different 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 days and many 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 chances and opportunities for every one of us to be corrected in different areas we know which is the area that i should be corrected in the presence of god hallelujah so correct that say to the lord oh lord forgive me oh god saying god oh god that area that i am not able to i am not able to be i mean to be corrected oh lord correct me oh god help me oh father hallelujah and do not worship god for self credit do not worship god for self credit so let's summit house with the mighty hand of god we are going to pray and uh, i request the ascetic uh, to lead us in prayer now